Life in prison, that's the sentence handed down this afternoon to a man convicted in the carjacking and murder at the Short Hills Mall in New Jersey. And before the judge delivered that sentence, the victim's mother and widow addressed the court about the impact of the loss on their lives. CBS 2's Jessica Layton live now at Essex County Superior Court with more on this. Jessica? And Christine, it was just about as heartbreaking as you could possibly imagine. That young widow saying three years later she is still struggling to learn how to live again. You changed the course of my life that night. You changed everything. Your intentional decision. It wasn't just someone's car, it was someone's life. They are the heart-wrenching words of a widow whose world was shattered in moments. The life she planned with the husband she adored, gone forever. My life was altered from that horrific, intentional decision. Permanently altered. There isn't a day that goes by that I'm not affected or reminded of some way about the horrific tragedy of December 15, 2013. Jamie Friedland's emotional victim impact statement cut through the courtroom. The man those sentiments were directed at, though, did not react. There was no apology and no show of remorse from 36 year old Basim Henry. In fact, there were times he was caught smirking, and the judge called him out on it. You're standing there smiling at me. Well, reason to believe your criminal behavior and the threat you pose to society will ever end. Basim Henry was the first of four men to be tried for the carjacking and killing of Dustin Friedland. He was the getaway driver on that night in December 2013 when the Hoboken attorney was pistol whipped and shot in the head for his Range Rover at the Short Hills Mall. Henry is not accused of firing the deadly shot, but new force would be necessary to get the luxury vehicle, and he played along with the plan. First degree, purposeful, or knowing murder. I sentence you to stay prison for the rest of your life. Prosecutors call the sentence fair, but there is no sense of satisfaction for this now broken family. There is no elation of victory for us because Dustin will never be with us again. And at the end of the day, there will now be two mothers without their sons. Our lives stopped that day, and we've had to learn how to restart it every day since. Basim Henry will not be up for parole until he's about 100 years old. Remember, he was the getaway driver here. So you have to wonder if the other three defendants involved in this case are looking at this sentence, this life sentence, and wondering if it's even worth it to go to trial or if they should have their defense attorney try to strike some kind of plea deal with the prosecutors. Right now, the second defendant's trial is set to start this September. We're live in Newark tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Okay.